This is video three of doing um, arm gesture and adding deformers. And I'm going to start by just parenting B, B, B. I'm going to rotate my arm this way so you can see it a little bit better. And we don't really need this glove here. So I'm going to move that. Now, one of the things I just want to point out, and I've pointed out in previous videos, my I have made my F and G, F and G, I've went into my preferences if I want to move forward and back on the timeline. I've went into general. Next frame, I've made I've made um, G. Previous frame, I've made F. Okay. And I just point that out in all of my videos because you'll notice that when I animate, I like to go forward and back with F and G. Now, let's start by adding a curve deformer to this arm. In my tool properties of my, my rigging tool, I'm going to make sure that I have the curve mode on. I'm going to turn that on. And I'm going to start at one end of the arm, click and drag. And then I'm going to move over to the other end of the arm and click and drag back to where I came from. Now, if I click again, I'll, I'll, I'll add another curve and click again, I'll add another curve, and we don't want to do that. So before you do anything else, you need to turn off the transfer, I mean the, the rigging tool. Now, if I click on it, you'll notice it will not turn off. So I need to simply choose this one, transformation. And now it's actually already ready to use. Control Z. I'm going to put my arm back, B, B. Shift R, we'll move it back, and I'll parent up and Shift R, and my arm is back where it started from. So we've added a curve deformer. Now, the one thing about this curve deformer is I want the hand to follow. So what do I need to do? I need to add a kinematic output. Now, let's go into our node view and take a look at this arm. I'm going to select the arm and hit O. Here we have our deformer and our drawing, and we have our wrist and our glove. To add a kinematic output, I first need to find one. And what is a kinematic output? It basically is, is if, I, if I was to add this wrist into the arm, and I started to move it, you'll start to see that the glove will deform as well. We don't want anything, so let me just disconnect that, other than the arm deforming. So we have a module, let me just put it, look, go to my module library and K-I-N. I'm going to add that underneath this group. And this group was created as soon as I, and let's just get rid of this group so you can maybe see how it gets added. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put my deformer in again, select my drawing, turn on my deformer, click and drag, click and drag. And as soon as I let go, this, this comes in, this group, the deformation group. I'm going to grab that kinematic output. I'm going to attach it to that wrist. And now you'll see there's a different thing happening. If I bend it, no matter what I do to that arm, the wrist no longer gets distorted. Again, I'll take that kinematic output away. Put this into directly into the group. The wrist is deforming. Instead, I will add a kinematic output and the wrist doesn't deform. So now we've done a few things. We've added our curve as well as our kinematic output. Thank you very much and I hope you're enjoying these videos. And we will add our envelope deformer to the glove in the next video.